Right now, Tuesday's severe weather threat has a very concerning look to it as it looks very possible that we could be looking at an outbreak of dangerous nighttime tornadoes. If you guys do find this video helpful and you want to see more of them, be sure to subscribe to the channel with those post notifications turned on. And also consider dropping a like on the video to help get the message out to other people as well. It allows it to get in other people's feed so that we can get the message out to as many people as possible. Let's get down to business. First off, we are taking a look at the Storm Prediction Center's risk of severe weather for Tuesday. This is going to change around a lot, and it's probably going to get upgraded. Uh, but we currently have an enhanced risk of severe weather from northern Louisiana into western Tennessee and the Missouri boot heel here. This is the greatest area of severe weather concern, and we could, in the Storm Prediction Center's words, be looking at an outbreak of tornadoes uh, across parts of eastern Arkansas into northwestern Mississippi and possibly western Tennessee as well. But the entire area here, if you're in the green, yellow, or orange, it means that you could be looking at severe weather, with the exception of the light green shade here. That just means that you're not expecting severe storms, but isolated, uh, isolated storms will be possible all the way up into the lower Great Lakes. The main area of concern for severe weather is going to be across the central and southern Mississippi River Valley. So let's take a look at the severe weather threat. We're using our high-resolution NAM model here. Uh, Tuesday morning, we are probably going to have lots of showers and clouds around across parts of the Arklatex region here. And what that's actually going to do is it's going to limit instability in the morning into the early afternoon period. But as we get every so often along, the storms are going to be intensifying. They'll be quite strong as we get into about noon on Tuesday here, especially across parts of Louisiana into Arkansas and Mississippi. These storms could have an isolated severe threat with them, but they are not our main storms of concern. We'll talk about that right here. As we get into noon, the dew points are going to be uh, about the, the low 60s as we get into central Arkansas here. So areas south of Little Rock is going to be the highest dew point content here. Uh, but areas along coastal Texas and coastal Louisiana, that's where the dew points are going to be more in the upper 60s to low 70s here. And as we get later into the afternoon, the dew points are going to be on the rise for areas further north. But that's not really going to happen until we get into the late afternoon or evening. So the concerning part about that is the severe weather ingredients look most favorable right when the sun is starting to go down on Tuesday. And that is going to be a major problem because the, any any tornadoes that do decide to happen uh, in the late evening into the overnight period, of course, they're going to be very difficult to see. There's going to be people trying to sleep. So you've got to have those ways to receive warnings. Uh, as the afternoon goes along, the instability will also be increasing. In the early afternoon, Little Rock and Southern Arkansas are barely going to be looking at any instability, but that does significantly increase as we get into the evening period here. And look at this, even by midnight on Tuesday night here, the highest instability is just now making its way into Central Arkansas and Northern Louisiana, which is very concerning. On top of that, we also have some very strong low-level winds as well. Uh, the brighter colors that you're seeing on the screen is indicating a stronger low-level jet. And what that is doing is it's helping to create spin in the atmosphere sphere because remember these winds are changing direction with height that's how you get strong wind shear and these strong low level winds in conjunction with the increasing instability on Tuesday evening is going to help make the environment even more favorable for strong tornadoes that is very concerning and in the storm prediction center's words it's likely going to be the western edge of the low level jet which in this case would probably be right around Arkansas and northern Louisiana maybe northwestern Mississippi that's going to be the area that has the best potential to see possibly a out outbreak of tornadoes. Not just a few tornadoes, an outbreak, and a few of those at least could be uh, possibly over EF2 status here. So we really have to keep an eye on this here as we go into the evening. Uh, this is one of the more serious tornado threats we've seen across this area in, in quite a long time. And as we get into about 8 p.m., we are going to be seeing some thunderstorms still trying to make their way into southwestern Mississippi, which could have isolated tornado potential. Uh, and we do have to change the resolution here because it is a little bit far out, so it's a lower resolution. But it's really not going to be until after 9 p.m. that we really start to see these big supercells trying to develop in Arkansas down into Louisiana here. They'll strengthen as we get towards midnight. And take a look at how uh, favorable the ingredients are for strong tornadoes, even by midnight on Tuesday here. Uh, it's going to be uh, quite a bit, guys. If you're looking at these brighter colors here, that means that you're looking at ingredients that are favorable for not only tornadoes, but possibly strong tornadoes as well and this is at midnight this is daytime heating 
does not look like it's going to have much of an effect on Tuesday other than it's going to bubble up the atmosphere before the sun goes down, and then that process continues after the sun goes down as well. So unlike a lot of severe weather events where the severe threat stops after the sun goes down, this is not going to be one of those events. It's only going to be increasing after 9 p.m., and that is something that's very concerning for this particular severe weather event, because look at this. Even by midnight, the ingredients are favorable for strong tornadoes across much of the central and southern Mississippi Valley. And the storms will intensify and likely cluster together as we get into about 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning on Wednesday. Uh, and these storms, as they cluster together, that will be increasing the threat of wind damage. Isolated tornadoes still possible late overnight on Tuesday as well. And we're looking at these storms really clustered together as we get into Wednesday morning. That will also be when the flood threat is on the increase as well. So guys, Tuesday's severe weather threat is looking concerning, especially in the evening into the overnight period. Uh, we do expect some shifts and possibly some upgrades with the Storm Prediction Center's current enhanced risk of severe weather here. And in their words, uh, we could be looking at an outbreak of tornadoes across the central and southern Mississippi River Valley if the ingredients do come together. So we need to keep an eye on this. I will have more updates for you guys in the future, most likely. So if you do want to see those, be sure to subscribe to the channel, turn those post notifications turned on so that when I post an update, you guys can get those notifications. But until the next video or live stream, stay safe and I will talk to you guys back here next time.